Today I want to teach you how to use a speed square to mark out angles. Let's get started. So if you want to make a right angle with your speed square, put it on your board like this. You mark a line and you got a 90 degree angle, a right angle. Let's go over some of the basics on a speed square. Here's my angles all the way across the bottom, zero to 90 degrees. Here is my common roof rafters right here. And here is my hip and valley roof rafters. So let's do a demonstration. Let's find a 35 degree angle. To get a 35 degree angle, I put it, put the square on my board and I pivot until 35 degrees is lined up with the top of my board. Just like that. Then I'll hold it and make a mark. Thirty-five degree angle. Okay, let's move on and do a twenty-seven degree angle. Pivot point stays on the board. Pivot the square over till 27 degrees is lined up with the board. Make your mark. Now I want to show you something else about that. 27 degrees is also a 612 roof pitch. Because this is common rafters. So 27 degrees is a 612 roof pitch. So if I was cutting a rafter, this line would be my plumb cut that would go against the ridge board in the center of the roof. Now let's make a 54 degree angle. Squares on my board, pivot until 54 meets the top of this board right here. So you pivot over, 54. And that's a 54 degree angle. Now let's, let's use the speed square to find out what angle is cut on the end of this board. So I'm going to put the pivot point of this square on the corner of this board here. I'm going to line it up perfectly. And when I look right here, it's at 45. It let's me know I got a 45 degree angle right there. I want to thank everybody for watching today. This is just a real quick video and it's really a beginner video, but it kind of shows different ways to use a speed square. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share this video. See you next time.